All right, well, pay no attention to the numbers at the bottom of your screen. I did not mess up a few times in doing this. Alright, well... So, one of the more important parts of completing the, the ghost true ending is shopping at the very beginning. And in order to minimize the amount of time we have to spend menuing in the shop, uh, I believe it's important just to do it all at once at the very beginning. And in order to ensure that we get everything we need right at the very beginning, we just have to get a bunch of money really fast. The easiest way to do that would just be to do all the side quests in like the first three levels. So for this level, 1-1, one, one, the next level, 1-2, and level the third level, 2-1, uh, we're just going to do every available side quest in order to just get maximum amount of money before we do the shopping before 3-1. If I could remember where any of the weak points are. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, the side quest I just completed is for looking five different girls in the eye. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, since you're on that bridge, there are just four girls that you don't have to shoot, so I just spend the time looking at each of their faces and then just pick another girl to look at. I just do it there so I don't forget. Uh, you could probably do it in the, what do you want to call it? A, the tower defense section where you're looking all around, defending yourself. But it's quick, it's easy. It doesn't really waste any time as well as picking up the glasses out of those boxes. It's important to do those as well. Completing all of the available side quests is the difference between being able to buy the third shot upgrade and buying the fourth shot upgrade. Which, for when we no longer care about what we're hitting, we're just shooting. Because we gotta go fast and it doesn't matter if we perform well. Just higher damage is always good. So I promise I'll be much better at this game when I don't have to aim. When I can just mash shoot. Because you do have to be careful on the first few levels when you're getting money. Because uh, you are rewarded better for performing better. At least I know that's the case on most stages. I assume it's also the case on the first few. But I can't be bothered to figure that out.
All right, so here we're going to pick this item up off the ground. There's also an item in one of the trees over here, as well as we're going to shoot the first ghost. This first ghost doesn't really matter much when it comes to raising the affection level to get the ending. We, uh, we're mostly shooting her in order to get the money from the side quest. I have exactly one completed split, and I lost time on it. Oh no. Oh no. And of course, we have to go to Unseen Destiny. Okay, on this level, we are picking an item off of one of the girls as well as looking another girl in the face. Uh, the girl we have to look in the face is a particular girl. Uh, one that someone once identified. So you can't just be looking whoever you want in the eye. That would just be a huge waste of time. But these two will be the last side quest we do. After this, Money's not really an issue anymore. Because we're only doing the one shopping trip. remember any of these weak points and be having a much easier time. Specifically, is the person we need to look in the eye. Alright, time for our big shopping trip.
since I've done everything, I should be able to just buy these first and scroll down. Then we have to head to the first year classroom. Uh, the ghost is on specific levels. So, of course, it's it's important to go to the specific levels that she's on. There are faster levels to complete. I don't know what I'm saying. There are faster levels to complete than like the first few that we're going to do, but it would just be a huge waste of time to go to them, right? Why not just do the first few that are here? Especially now that we have the arrow charm. Uh, it doubles the amount of affection gained with each successful ecstasy shot on every individual girl. And since we have it, every shot taken on the ghost will increase her affection by one full heart as opposed to just half. So instead of having to shoot her all ten times, we only have to shoot her five times. Technically, right now, she is at... She is at half a heart from shooting her on one, two. But in order to get the ending, we have to have a full five hearts, so we have to shoot her five more times anyways. Here she is at the end of this hallway. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't have to aim anymore. I can just click shoot. Like right here. Because your performance no longer matters after those first three levels. No. We do not want to do that yet, because affection is not high enough yet. I'm probably going to slow down every time that comes up so I don't accidentally click it. Because I see, I see the shiny flashing button and I just want to hit it. Did I miss one <laughs> the entire time? well and going fast are two different things. Who cares about doing well if you can go fast? Hmm. 
<laughs> Quicking those doesn't lose any time, so like, whatever. It's something to do while I stand around and wait. Here is ghost number two. On to 4 1, which is the second year class. I always forget about these cutscenes. I never remember where they are or how many of them there are. They just kind of show up. No. Second year class. Thank you. Trying to trick me with all the flashy buttons. Yeah, I forgot. You can open the lockers by shooting them. I completely forgot about that. It just like never comes up. I didn't even see her. Ugh. This one's kind of easy and obvious. She's just at the very end of the level, like right in front of you. No guesswork or looking around. While you're over here, 
we're about to turn and enter that door to the left. It's a little bit faster if you just open it. What's she doing in here? Why are you hiding in the locker? Here we have an intersection. It's quite a bit faster if you go left as opposed to right. That's about it. Like, there's not a whole lot to it. for a while. Alright, yeah, we're about to drop down into the room and she's just going to be directly in front of us. Easy. Next level, 5-1, is the track, and it should be the last full level we do, barring that I don't screw something huge up. find her on the stairway in front of the gym entrance over there. At least I think that's the gym. I'm not really sure. Those two don't matter. Just run on by. Go. Get out of here. one. Now we just have to complete this level and then when we start the next one we can just skip straight to the ending. Higher approach. She dodged every shot.
All right. Next episode, yes, skip to the finale. And she's always at the bottom. From here, we just do the Mr. Balloon boss. Mr. Demon Balloon? That's it, yeah. Mr. Balloon didn't sound right. It's Mr. Demon Balloon. And since our shot's at level 4, it's way easier than it is in any percent. And since this is one of the NPC girls, like random background girls, you don't really have to perform super well at this. Like, you can hit her in the minigame and all that, and you won't really lose affection. You're guaranteed to get the true ending. I have no idea how to tell, like, which eye to shoot to spin faster. I just pick one. Okay, we beat the boss, but we're not done yet. We still have to do the Doki Doki. Which I forgot to write down where to shoot, but I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. Pretty sure it's just the face. Because it has the shortest animation. I apologize to anyone who actually listens to this part. I'm just gonna hear the same voice line over and over again. Alright, just go to the nape when she blocks her face. Do that a few times. Good to go. Blocking. Might as well just. There we go. I might have split late. I'm not sure if it's like right when you hit the finish or not. I don't know. I don't think it matters that much, but that's just me. I guess if somebody else ends up running this category, then maybe I'll try a bit harder next time. <laughs> but right now, this is all I got. There we go. 100%. With the ghost. Pure forehead. All right. And I think my favorite part about doing any of the unseen destiny routes for any of the girls is that after you clear her route,
Normally it... <sighs> Normally when you clear the routes, the, uh, the girl that you cleared the route on will say the title and, like, do the menu voice. I guess it doesn't sometimes, though. Oh, well. Woo. World record. Thanks for watching. If anyone wants to subscribe, uh, I'm gonna do more of the other routes for this game that haven't been done yet. If anyone is remotely interested in that. Uh, I'm just gonna hit stop recording because I don't know what else to say.